Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising. Weekly Tarot reading August 13 to August uh, 19, 2018. <clears throat> so this is going to be a four card tarot spread and after I'm done with it we're going to do as well a Lenormand reading for the week for Cancer. So the first card here uh, expresses up the topic for Cancer's week. The second card shows up the core of the situation here. The third card represents uh, the challenges to be taken on for the week. And the last card represents the guidance that Cancer should adopt to make their life easier. So the first card which represents the topic, let's see what you got. Uh, now you do have the Four of Cups as a topic. So this week you Cancers are going to, um, <clears throat> first of all, consume something of a benefit. So it's going to be, um, you know, the, the, mm, the rewards and the benefits from a, something we have finalized uh, in the previous week or very recently here. But also it's going to be a week of um, insight and a realization that uh, at this current stage, either of your job or either if you're of your uh, relationship, it is coming to an end in a sense of that um, the development is over. I mean, the growth uh, in this current stage is over, and therefore not this week. Uh, maybe in the in the week after or in a couple of weeks. Uh, you will make some steps, you know, in order to change that, but this week it is just where the insight emerge, where you will consume the very final drops of the benefits you have uh, worked for, and uh, what after, you know, you have to figure out what comes next. So this week for you, it should be rather calm and peaceful, but also it will be doubled with, uh, with deliberations, you know, what you can do in your life in order to improve it and what will make you happy in general. Because uh, even though these things were, were making you happy at the start when you want them, now they seem kind of distant and they seem that, uh, you know, they're very ordinary. Uh, from now on and they don't kind of create that kind of a thrill anymore within your life. So this week is going to be a week where you are going to start reprioritizing for yourself and lift your, lift your limits, you know, lift your expectations. As uh, at this very moment, you know, you're going to realize that you can achieve more and you do deserve more. Uh, then the, the next card represents the topic here. <clears throat> And not the topic, but the core of the situation, excuse me, or why is this? Now, we do have the Tree of Wands, which points that you uh, have already established your patterns, all right? You already have placed roots in whatever you're doing, either regarding relationship-wise or regarding career-wise. So, you have secured yourself. And, now, and uh, it is likely that with uh, the Tree of Wands, you know, there is a, a total synergy in between you, what you are expecting and what you are doing. Um, so, in other words, things are happening exactly um, according to your bidding and according to your expectations. So, it is time here to start placing bigger challenges in front of yourself. Uh, so, you can, you know, again, improve yourself either career-wise or relationship-wise. Very important with the Tree of Wands here, guys, is to uh, place additional challenges. Because only through challenges, what this card says, is when one can find their true limits. So these couple of cards here are pointing that you are working or you are performing beneath your limits. Not because you are lazy, but because you are yet to become aware what you are capable of or how much you are capable of. Now the next card here represents uh, the uh, challenges to be taken on the, the predicaments. That will be the Seven of Cups and in this particular case here is the lack of belief that you can make um, even further steps into one development and that is very common to the people which are into a despondent situation, which are kind of like experiencing, you know, predicaments in every field of their life. Uh, they are slumbered beneath the toe, etc., etc., and they kind of like make themselves very indecisive 
to do some brave actions to in order to improve you know one's circumstances so that card here uh, it's a challenge and it says that the um, the dreams that you do have for yourself are just like the mother's dream for her children and are they fantasies or seeds growing yet remains to be known so un unless you don't try it you will always fail on it unless you don't ask for it the answer always gonna be no so uh, it, it these card speaks here for a, a little bit of a bravery that you need to kind of incorporate in your life to step a little bit outside of your comfort zone so you can see what truly you are capable of regarding career and regarding relationship i do believe that this is um <clears throat> strictly for your entire life it is not just considering relationship wise or a career wise it is just for the grand scheme of things it is what that message is and then the last card here represents the guidance that you should adopt now the the knight of swords here shows that you have to be very decisive and also you should not allow people to talk you out of it so once you decide what you want to do once you kind of like uh, spot your destination and you you know you determine yourself to make the first steps on it of course always there will be those who are trying to talk you over who um, will try you know to kind of like keep you in one place so they have control upon your actions and upon your life in general that is common with parents that is common you know with uh, lovers etc etc and that card points that you should not allow anybody to tell you what to do and anybody to infiltrate and kind of influence you know your decisions here your decisions needs to be strictly logical and the only logical course of action is one to seek improvement and wants to seek better ends you know and that again could happen only through a, a placing new challenges in front of yourself to be conquered and whoever doesn't like it, well, the door doesn't have a lock, everybody is welcome to leave. According at least to those cards, this is the guidance here. Because those who are keeping you from growing, they don't love you guys. They just want, want you to be under their control. At least this is my opinion here. And uh, that is the tarot reading for you cancers for the uh, August 13 to August 19, 2018. So let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you as an, an event for you to look forward to. That will be the uh, tower card followed by the, um, <clears throat> the mountains. So uh, let me draw the third card here. And we have the fish. All right. So these cards are pointing that you may experience some government, uh, some, uh, some predicaments and some delays regards to government institution or regards to strictly business affairs, all right? And most likely those kind of delays are going to concern money or resources in general, especially if, uh, if your work is orientated mark market-wise, all right? Um, then uh, that could be some sort of a new addition to the market rules which is going to cause setbacks in your company or in your business in general. These cards are also pointing that some payments that you may expect from structures, from companies or from clients may suffer delays as well but the payments will be made. Now you need to know that the uh, mountain Mountain does not uh, express um, unresolvable issues. It is just points, predicaments, which causes delays. But delay does not mean never. Eventually, things are going to set back in stir. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading again for August 13 to August 19, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.